Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about machining the port faces here. The chests, I didn't show doing the chest covers, but um, always be a bit careful with these. They tend to have some cold spots on them uh, and they're as hard as diamonds just there. But that's those done. Now, I always had a problem, not a problem as such, but I always thought it was a bit hit and miss when we drilled the hole through here, 332, because I had to use an aircraft drill to really get to that point there. So I did a bit of studying and uh, went to uh, our favorite professor, Joe Pye, and he'd actually made something like this. Um, uh, so I thought I'd just knock it up and uh, see how it went. So I'll put it together for you. In fact, I'll bring you back when I've got the screws in. That's better, the screws are in now. So how this works is make a, a dummy block for the space in the chest. This will then go in here. This also means you can machine this as well, uh, but this is specifically about the hole. So he then goes in there. Now uh, there's a hole in there so that this screw can clamp onto that piece of aluminium that you saw. So that will then go down onto there. The shim clamps onto the chest. And there's just another little shim here that comes across. And we'll clamp on there. Now this will work for any of the sort of Stuart chests. And I'll show that being machined in the video as well. So although, you know, it's, it's took a morning to probably make this, uh, we've got it forever. Um, I've got a wee problem where <laughs> this is offset, so I'm going to have to use this in the forge jaw. Uh, but there's not much material swinging about, so it won't hurt. But it'll be a lot more accurate to drill it uh, and to clean these faces up as well, that you can see. So I'll start with machining these here, and then at the end I shall drill the hole and finish the little whatever you call it at the end of the pip as well but what it means is that once it's set up i can repeat them exactly the same um so it's going to be a useful little tool in the future so enjoy the video i haven't shown any of the drilling of these holes here um what i tend to do is put them on and I super glue them and then I would drill the holes to the tapping size and then open these holes out to the 7BA clear. My method and uh, it seems to work okay um, but anyway like I said earlier enjoy the video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Here's the setup to do the valve faces. I've got them in V blocks with a dummy mandrel through and just eyeballing the flatness of it. Obviously, it's a casting, but uh, that's going to be close enough.
Remember, this is offset from here to here. I think to allow more space for the valve. So when you're measuring this to the tip of here, this is three sixteenths from here to here is a quarter of an inch. It's easy to forget that and think that has to be in the middle of this.